Andrea is with us in Tampa, Florida. Hi, Andrea. How are you? Hi, Dave. I'm great. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. What's up? So my husband and I went through FPU about two years ago, and we are on baby step six. And we're having a little disagreement um, over something he wants to purchase. So we figured you'd be the tiebreaker. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get my striped shirt and whistle out. I'll be the referee. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. So um, our household income is about 120 from our regular you know, jobs that we do. He just started a side business, which is um, basically doing online marketing. And right now he's making about forty three hundred a month with it. So wow! It, yeah, it's Profit? doing really well. <laughs> yeah, um, he his expenses are very minimal, so it's probably at least thirty five hundred a month in profit. Wow! Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, it's doing well, but it's still a really new business. It's, he's only been doing it for about two months, mm-hmm. um, and he has right now three clients, and mm-hmm. he's hoping to get a few more. But um, he's very excited about this and wants to purchase a fairly expensive uh, $1,500 piece of exercise equipment Mm -hmm. (laughs) um, out of the business. And I'm just nervous because it's it's still a new business, and Mm -hmm. I'd rather we kind of just save up and plan for it the way we do with everything else in our normal household budget. Um, But just wanted to get your thoughts. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Well, he's not really buying it for the business or out of the wow. business. It's out of your household income, which now has an extra $8,000 in it well, from two yeah. months of work. Mm-hmm. Correct. Okay. So let, let's just pretend he was at work and he got a bonus for $8,000. Mm-hmm. Maybe it was a one-time bonus. Okay. Okay. Just for the fun of it. That, mm-hmm. that, that's like your worst case scenario, meaning he's already made $8,000 on the online business, two months of four grand, right? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so if he never made another dime, it would be like he got a nice bonus at work, $8,000 yeah, yeah. check. And out of that check, he Certainly. wanted to buy a $1,500 piece of equipment. Mm-hmm. Would that be bad? <laughs> I, I don't know. I guess I would just rather, I, I, I'm, I'm just excited about paying off the house. <laughs> okay. Now that's a fair argument. Okay. All right. Because I mean, you get a bonus in, and we say, uh, mm-hmm. "Do we want to?" We can change how the money came in, but we got some extra money, is what it amounts to. Mm-hmm. And you want to throw it at the house, and he wants to buy this piece of equipment. Yes. Okay. And how much is the balance on your home? Uh, right now, we owe about one fifty. Okay. All right. And have you guys not done anything else to enjoy some money since you busted through baby step three? We have. We've taken some nice vacations, okay. and we always set money aside for travel. So we definitely have. Yes. Good, good. I'm glad you did. That's because mm-hmm. what, what we teach, as you know, and it sounds like you're living that properly, is to have gazelle mm-hmm. intensity, which is scorched earth, no life at all, till you get through baby step three. And then when you get through baby step three, you let your foot off the gas a little bit, and you're just, <laughs> you concentrate, but you buy some things and enjoy some things while continuing to pay extra on the house, which is what you did when you went on the trip, right? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that's also what this exercise equipment is. I, I suppose it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's if you want to move up in car, it'd be the same argument. If you wanted to, uh, you know, you were driving a $5,000 car and you want to move to a a eight thousand dollar car, and you wanted to, you know, move up, spend the extra three grand on that, and or something like that. That'd be the same discussion. Is that's going to eat up, just like the trip ate up some of the money that could have gone towards the house. But the point is, that's the the letting off of the accelerator, backing off from full on gazelle intensity to, uh, you know, enjoying and doing some other stuff. You might even increase some giving during that time, and all those kinds of things. Mm-hmm. So the point is to be concentrating on the house, but not to the exclusion of all other things. So really, Mm -hmm. the truth is, what this argument comes down to is, this is not a joint purchase that both of you uh, want. It's something he just wants. Basically, yes. Mm -hmm. That's the argument. It's not that it's the (laughs) wrong place. It's not that it's the wrong place in the baby steps or that it's really against the house. It's just he wants it and you don't care about it one way or the other. Yeah, and I kind of feel like we should maybe just, it it feels like an impulse a little bit. Like maybe we should have saved up for, you know, $500 a month or something because 
I don't know. I just feel like it's a little impulsive, and it's just well, you got so a bonus. much money. You got an eight thousand dollar <laughs> bonus, and you can say, you know, we want to do some giving or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, you know, what I, what you could do to to that that's a fair argument too. That's a fa- fair part of the equation. Sometimes mm-hmm. when Sharon and I are talking about it, she's like, I don't know. Kind of feels like you just got the fever. Let's wait a month and see if you still want it. After a month, if you still want it, we'll do it. Okay. And see if the fever goes away. That would change it from an impulse to a solid purchase. What kind of piece? What kind of exercise equipment is it? Um, it's one of these Peloton spin bikes. Okay. All right. Yeah. And is he so taking spin he class found now? A used one. Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. How long has he been taking spin class? How long has he been taking spin class? A couple of years. Okay. So him being yeah. on him being on a bike is not an impulse. Correct. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. yeah. I mean, because yeah. I've never taken spin class, so me buying one might be more <laughs> of a, I'm more of a runner, you know, and that kind of thing. So me being a, uh, on one might be more of an impulse because it's not, it's not mm-hmm. like it's something he's never done is my point. That's correct. Yeah. So in that's that sense, it, that that's an argument for him. So, um, I, yeah, I, I might shop around, try to figure out where we can pick one up used at one of the sports consignment stores or Craigslist or something like that. Is there a place to find one, a, 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 the, the, you know, a really nice one but slightly used that somebody's using to hang their clothes on instead of actually ride <laughs> and that kind of stuff? And, you know, let's take a month and, and see if he cools off on it. If after a month we find a bargain and or he still wants it, I'd probably do it. He wins. Well, thanks, Dave. He's going to be really happy to hear I bet. that. <laughs> but do you see kind of how I got there? I do. It okay. makes sense. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's there's nothing in here about you guys being irresponsible. The reason I walked all the way through that is it's good. It's a good exercise all for our listeners too to just think through properly to think through at that baby step where you're trying to pay on the house. Okay, when do we not pay on the house, and when do do we pay on the house? Because if all you do is buy stuff, you'll never pay on the house, and that's your point. But I don't think you guys are out of control. The fact that you're having this discussion is proof that you are in control. So that's pretty cool. I think you're going to get the house paid off pretty quick, by the way. And uh, and I think it's going to be due to his uh, business exploding. Because i got a feeling this 40000 is going to turn into 80000 And uh, that's probably going to pay the house off. So I think we're okay. That's the other part that's rattling around in the back of my head here. But that's a cool discussion. It really is. It's a good thing to talk talk about. You know, PJ on Twitter says, is there a balance between gazelle intensity and what the Bible says, the dangers of gaining wealth hastily? Well, PJ, gazelle intensity doesn't have anything to do with gaining wealth. Gazelle intensity has to do with getting out of debt, which is from the scriptures. And uh, it's Proverbs 6, 1 through 7. If you've signed surety, my son, do this. Give no sleep to your eyelids, no slumber to your eyes, and deliver yourself like a gazelle from the hand of the hunter, a bird from the hand of the fowler. That's Proverbs 6, 1 through 7. Now, what's that mean? If you've signed surety, as old English Bible talk, forgotten yourself into debt, how you get out of debt. You deliver yourself like a gazelle from the hand of the hunter. You run like a cheetah is chasing you, trying to kill you. That's gazelle intensity. You run for your freaking life. And that's to get out of debt. That is not a danger of gaining wealth hastily because we're not trying to gain wealth. We're trying to get away from the dadgum master because we're a slave. The borrower is slave to the lender, which frees us up to build wealth as a steady plotting thing because, yeah, there is gaining wealth hastily. There's all kinds of warnings about that in Scripture, Uh, and and not only your spirit, but also just the general process that you, you end up building a house of cards, which is what I did. So I went broke. I gained wealth hastily in my 20s and uh, borrowed too dad got much money and it caved in on my head because I was stupid. And that's what it comes down to. But they're different things. And so the gazelle intensity does run up through baby step three, through the emergency fund. And after that, let your foot off the gas. Now you start your wealth building. Now we start paying off the house and we start upgrading the couch, and getting the spin bike and so forth. This is the Dave Ramsey Show. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show.